That's why I'm completely appalled by seeing these principles destroyed by monarchs, monopolists, who have totally destroyed the system from within on Wall Street, and, and this is completely unacceptable. I'm a capitalist. I think capitalism can do it. Uh, it's not a question of getting rid of capitalism. It's a question of getting rid of this terrible form of capitalism. Capitalism, more broadly understood as market economy, not only has a future, I can't see the future of the world without it. But the question is what kind of capitalism, what kind of market economy? A system of reformed capitalism built on independent money a tax system based on consumption, not income, and employee-owned businesses would begin to build an economy that's not dependent on constant growth to service its debt. We've endured the so-called free market for centuries, but far from being free, it's led us to destroy nature and each other in a vain attempt to progress. It's uh, absolutely ludicrous uh, to suggest that Somehow there is a uh, scientifically defined boundary of the market that we should uh, never change. Yeah? And, and of course, uh, that's uh, what the free market economy wants you to believe. Yeah? Because once uh, they convince you of that and claim that, on top of that, uh, claim that they have the truth because they are you know, PhDs in economics, then they can uh, tell you whatever they want. Yeah? And then you will have to accept it. Yeah? But uh, that's uh, where we have to uh, uh, take these guys on. Yeah? Politics is about drawing the boundary of the market. Eh? You know, I mean, uh, when you think about it, a lot of things have been taken out of the market over the last two, three centuries. Eh? Two, three centuries ago, you could buy and sell human beings, eh? child labor. A lot of things that uh, you wouldn't imagine you could uh, buy and sell today. So, I mean, over time, we have uh, redrawn this boundary, and there is nothing wrong with uh, redrawing the boundary again. Things that were considered absolutely reasonable in the 1850s, like selling any chemical on a street corner and telling you that it's a pharmaceutical drug that will make be good for you, things like that that were absolutely complex then are now serious criminal offenses. Well, the same thing will be true of active money management in 100 years. The break 